Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, this is Jason, a.k.a. Meats. This is Sick Nate Airbrush and coming at you guys. Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm inside Big Airbrush today. And basically, guys, I just want to talk about using stencils, uh, what we do here. And it's just quick art, fast-paced stuff here, guys. So I just wanted just to lay down some stuff for you. These are a little, little more complicated, a little more drawing involved than these two. Um, identical. This is a soccer ball. And this is a, a basketball stencil that we have. And here's the design here. And here's the design here. Okay, so I just want to talk about the advantages of having stencils and basically the outcome of what you could do with stencils other than just freehanding, right? You guys know me. I, I push on freehanding a lot. Um, that's my number one go-to. Um, but when, in situations like this, in a shop like this, in a high-volume shop like this, you know, that you're going to have this because it's just quick art. It's just you want to bang them out, man, get them in, get them out. So that's the, that's the number one goal here. So that's basically the, the whole answer to all this, the, the what to expect from stencils and basically the outcome of, of the stencil itself, you know what I'm saying, the, the cleanliness of, of the look, okay? So I'm just going to paint on these. I'm not going to go fast. I'm just going to outline these real quick with black and show you the steps of these of how I go about it. So, if you guys use stencils, it's all good. I'm not against stencils, guys. I mean, I know it probably seems that way, but I'm not against stencils. Stencils makes, makes us money. But the whole point of this, guys, is just, you know, me telling you guys that I'm not against temper. <laughs> now, that's not the whole point, guys. You know, it's more or less putting stuff out in a timely manner, right? Should I freehand this? Yes. Yeah. No problem. Did I do it as fast as this? That is yet to be determined. Myself, probably not. Because these designs here, they're, they're stencil. You want to look at stenciling as something that you're not going to spend a whole lot of time on. You know, you're going to get it in, get it out, guys. That's what the main point is in stenciling. Get designs that are, are cool designs. That's something that's going to sell. You know what I'm saying? You want to have something that's good and it's going to sell, right? So that's the whole main point of all that, right? I don't know why I did that. I'm just going to have with blue. Well, this is a definitely... An old school design here, guys. You guys seen that? If you haven't seen this outline here. See, the thing about stencils, too, guys, is like you could do this. You could put backgrounds on stencil designs, right? <clears throat> That's what they're made for. If you guys get into like um, beach scenes and stuff like that with palm trees or any kind of sun, anything you got to put a background to. I mean, this is a prime example of a background on a stencil that you could do. It's a lot faster when you have a stencil on here and you're able to do, do that, right? You're able to just bust out the outline. Bust the outline out and um, then go to town with um, the insides of this design. And that's what's going to end up happening. So I'm adding PCB. 
He wants Panama City Beach. So I'm going to put Panama City Beach on the bottom. So this one I'm gonna put TCB. Then I got no room. So it's not 2024 yet, but it's close to it, man. So happy new year to you guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my last video. I'm not really sure what video I'm gonna put up first, but anyways, you know, this is uh another video before the year ends. And um, bye-bye 2023, man. Bye-bye. Isn't that crazy? It's 2023 is gone. So now that I got everything that I need on that done, I could probably go ahead and put his, their name, too. And I, I was talking about doing uh, scratchy. So when you guys are doing scratchy, here's a little tip for you guys. You know, you don't got to go up and down with the lettering, boom, boom, boom. You know, putting so much paint in. All you need to do is basically get your, get your letters in, right? Picking the lines up, however your style is. And then just throw a couple of lines in here. Quick. Easy. Done. Same thing here. Up a line, it just gives an illusion of scratchy, right? That's all you're doing, just get that illusion. That's it for the names, okay? So, boom, there's that. I'm gonna peel these off. These require a little bit of drawing, which is okay. Nothing wrong with drawing or filling in, right? And as for this, guys, the stencil's already done its job. Don't go too crazy filling and stuff. I could pretty much leave it as is, as it is, man. Just, just filling in some certain spots. That goes for the stencils wise. You gotta do your fill ins. This guy's already pretty much done. I'm gonna go and shade in a little bit here. Boom. Oh. 
Okay. Go ahead and get these eyeballs in. Same thing with this. <laughs> these designs here, if I'm really working hard at these designs, it doesn't take long at all. Doesn't take long at all. Take your time. The process, you'll get better and better. You practice the same design over and over. Or if it, if it is even freehand, you guys have designs that are freehand. If you practice them over and over again. It just gets better. Your control gets better and better. That's what you want. So this design here, we have a big airbrush. Pretty cool design. Kids love it. These are actually for two kids shirts. I mean, two um, kids. They ordered today. Which is pretty cool. Had me something to do today. Thought I'd show you guys a little something, something. And what we do here. That's about it, man. Though I gotta paint this basketball, but this guy's about done. And usually, what we do with um, any white surface like this ball here, this is or a white skull, just highlight it with some blue. Not heavy blue, just light blue. Don't need a lot of it. It just makes. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. So this guy's done. I just gotta throw an outline on that real quick. Uh, boom. Alex needs a little outline. So that guy's done. I'm gonna throw some brown in here. I don't want to try to make. God damn, son! Try to make. God damn, son! Damn, son! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I have my blocker up. My uh, uh, came and talk. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! I have my uh, tip caps on. <laughs> oh my god, so I throw brown. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I 
keep my caps on. I got my caps on my when I been, these guys. I'll put this link in the description for you guys. But um, Spray Gunner has these now, and I used to get these black ones at US Airbrush Supply. Uh, they're mainly Badger. Um, they just sell Badger stuff, but these they have these caps. That's where I got. That's where I first start getting these out from. Uh, but Spray Gunner has these red ones. These red ones that fit better than these. Um, so they're not cheap either, man. I can't remember if I paid a dollar ninety nine or or I can't remember what I. You guys see how bright that orange is? The aqua flow, man. That's some good stuff right there, boy. <laughs> that's some good stuff right there. Ah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So we're pretty much done with that. So there you have it, man. Two designs. Check it out. Two designs. You know, knock them out. Well, I'm talking to, but whatever, man. That's the advantages of stencils, man. I just took my time on these, and, and you know, two two shirts, total of 20 minutes, somewhere around there, something like that, or whatever this video is, right? But knock those two out, man. It's done, ready for the heater, ready to go to the customer, man. But that's about it. The advantages of having stencils, guys, is, is to bust stuff out, to have that clean version. Could I have freehanded this whole thing? Yes, I could freehand this. It's not a problem. Am I going to get this clean look like this? No. I'm not going to get that clean look like this. Am I going to get the shape of the ball uh, that perfect? No. So the, that's what the, the beauty of, of the stencils is. You can put backgrounds when you're having stencils. You can put different types of backgrounds and work on this area like this, man. And this design, it just pops. It's a cool design. And this is what sells, man. This is what sells. This is what kids are attracted to, right? So most definitely... Uh, believer in stencils. I like stencils, man. I've been doing it for the past seven months and it's made me money, man. So that's what it's all about. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this video, man. Um, please like and subscribe to my videos, man. If you, if you like my videos, if you do, man, please comment down below. Tell me what you think, guys. All right. This is going to be either after the new year I post this or before the new year. But either way, happy new year. Merry Christmas. All that, you know what I'm saying? This rocks 2024. Keep airbrushing. Keep it going, guys. Let's get that motivation. Get that cheddar, guys. That's what it's all about, all right? So more to come, guys, all right? My name is Jason, Sick Made Airbrushing. At Big Airbrush, inside Big Airbrush. You guys take care, man. Love you guys. Peace out.